It's the 18th century. King Louis XVI is at the height of his reign. He meets with his wife after a massive party for the nobility. Wasn't that a splendid party, my dear? Oh yes, can we have another party with another hundred cakes? Great idea! Oh wait, the treasury is depleted. So, so that means no more parties? The king decides to meet with his advisors to find a solution. Okay, everyone, we don't have enough money. Any advice? I have an idea. Tax the poor. Great idea. More cakes, more parties. Meanwhile, in the city, the peasants meet to discuss their situation. They're taxing us dry. We need to do something about this now. But we have no money to do anything. My kids are starving and I can barely feed them. Exactly. We need more money and food now. Ooh, we need to do something. But we, the third estate, have no power in the government. This isn't good. We shall take action now. Now! Let's go to the meeting hall. We can talk to them there. The building is guarded. We can't get in. The, the tennis court isn't guarded. We can go there. Let's go. Okay, so we'll wait here until we have a better voting system. Okay, I think this might actually work. The Estates General is old and biased. We should split off and form our own government, the National Assembly. And we should make an oath to stick together, to reassemble until the constitution of the kingdom is established. Yes! yes. Until, Until the constitution, constitution of, of the, the kingdom, kingdom is established. King Louis XVI finally relents and he orders the clergy and the nobility to join the National Assembly with the Third Estate. The Third Estate refuses to step down. I wish for you two to join the National Assembly. If we must, Your Majesty. I still don't like the idea of stepping down. But if you command us, we shall. Our efforts have been a success. Indeed, let us celebrate with a batch of baguettes. Wait a second, the bread's still too expensive. 